How would you come to Germany to become a maid? Oh my god. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ruth Kim. If you're seeing this face for the first time, here on my channel, I share my experiences as a foreigner living here in Germany. I share information that I know and I feel like if I share it, it's going to help someone else out there. I vlog, I do haul videos and sometimes I just want to have fun. So today, as you can see guys, I have a special guest here on my channel and I'm going to give her like a few minutes so that she can introduce herself. My name is Lydia and uh, I'm an au pair here in Germany. So guys, as you all know, I also came to Germany as an au pair, but that was like, oh, it's like 10 years ago. And she just joined us here in Germany a few months ago. And because so many of you are interested on how they can move to Germany legally, and this is one way. So I'll be asking her a few questions that you guys have been giving me so that we can update the au pair version. Yeah, we can see what, what people need nowadays and yeah, step, step by step. And if guys, we are going to leave something out, don't forget to ask it in the comment section below. So Lydia, yes. why au pair or how did you find out about au pair? Okay, why au pair? Uh, I actually got to learn about au pair through my relatives so I t I decided to try it out so mm -hmm. I found it like it's a good thing to do so after finding out from your relatives which steps did you take uh, the first steps actually uh, I didn't know much about it mm -hmm. so I had to go research through the internet what is this mm -hmm. au pair people are talking about and why did my relatives decide to do the au pair so I checked it out in the internet so to get like a basic picture of what are the basic requirements mm -hmm. and all that. So after looking through the internet, I went to look for a German school. That was the the most requirement about appearing here in Deutschland. So I looked for a school where I can do my German language and I enrolled myself in a school in a CBD. Yeah, it's a German school in CBD. It's what is CBD? CBD, Central Business Centers. <laughs> <laughs> CBD, yeah, yeah, Nairobi Central Business Center. I looked for a school and I decided to start my A1. So you see, like the German course is one of the requirements. That's the most important requirement. Which it. other requirements do you need? Is it only German course or mm -hmm. do we have more? uh the most i'll say the most 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 requirement is having the german certificate and also like proof that you went to school like in kenya you can't just be with no like uh like academic papers and say that i want to do au pair with only my german language certificate it doesn't work like that so you need like your a level in kenya kcs certificate. certificate yeah so you only need the german a eins yeah and your qualification is like academic certificates yeah. ah okay yeah. so if you're coming from other countries you have to get your school certificates yeah you said you enrolled yourself in a german school in cbd yeah yeah, yeah in yeah. nairobi yeah does it have to be any school or any german school or where did you do it yeah you can actually do it in any german school because the exam body it's only one the exam body you'll do it with Goethe Institute so you can just do your language course from any school but for me I did my language school in German Institute of Professional Studies and then later you went to do your yeah exam. my exams I have to do it at Goethe Institute because it's one certificate yeah which ah, okay. is international so the the nice. requirement is not the exam from the German Institute it's yeah. the exam from, from the, the Goethe, Goethe Institute. Institute yeah ah okay so how long did it take you to mm. get that A and certificate? Yeah, for me to get my A and certificate, there are like crashing courses or if you want the crashing courses or the slow courses. So I took like a crashing course, which was like... Crashing three, is like... Super intensive. intensive. Yeah, ah, it's like super, super intensive. intensive. I took my A1, uh, my A1 classes, which lasted for three months. Mm -hmm. And then I did my exams and then the results were out in a week. You said you went for three months to yeah. German Institute. How much did it cost you, or how much did you pay for the co for the course to get that AI certificate? Should I mention like the the price? The price, yeah. Exact price, yeah. 
uh how much did it cost for the super intensive class it was 23000 for mm -hmm. the 3 months yeah that's like and 250 then, euros yeah and separate for the books and the dictionary and the cd it comes separate so for the whole cost you paid 23000 3, yeah let's say 25000 because of the books, books and, and all, all that. that yeah yeah ah, okay so after you got your ai certificate mm -hmm. what did you do next or what's the next step uh the next step actually the school i studied the owner of the school is also the agent who mm -hmm. looks for au pairs if you want to do au pair so for me my option was finding myself a family by my own so you had the option of using an agent, agent yeah or doing it yourself yeah yeah so yeah. you decided so to I do it yourself. by myself i try it out if it doesn't work there's still the option of the agent so what did you do so for me i i i opted to to look for myself a family mm -hmm. yeah so there are these sites there's opairworld.com mm -hmm. there's also opair.com and kangaroo.com so i open it's simple where you just open an account with your email and then like put like lively photos with kids because it has to be like a lively thing showing you interact well with kids mm -hmm. so that's what i did and i was just patient so yeah. for you to become an au pair you have to be good with kids yeah you have to show like you're very interactive with the kids because that's the main thing that's bringing you here ah, okay. do you need to like to be an expert to be able to fill in those the, ap no. the application on those website no 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 it doesn't um, require any skills to to open up the sites because it's like they're like general questions what's your name surname and all that year of birth and the your email address so the things you just put in the site it's photos photos of you interacting with kids that's and yeah. do we have an age limit like to become yeah an au pair? yeah the age limit is now is 26 years old uh -huh. yeah, i guess it's 26 years old okay so after the application on those websites how long did you wait or how did it like go what happened after you applied one thing i'll tell you is it requires a lot of patience it requires a lot of patience it took me like for a whole month because the, the first time you open it you'll get like so many negative replies but uh initially uh within a month's time i had like two families with me so i was the one to decide which family i want i wanted a family that lives close to the city so that's why i opted to take the family in hamburg okay yeah. and how how did you communicate did you continue communicating through the website or did you move to like email facebook mm -hmm. or how did you used to communicate with the family we used to communicate through the site first mm -hmm. but once they show like the initiative they they are interested in you mm -hmm. they'll be the one to share the contact or the skype because for the family I was, I was communicating with they didn't go like straight to whatsapp they gave me like their Skype ID. They mm -hmm. told me you should Skype frequently so that we can get to know you better. Can and the chemistry. Yeah, yeah. So if it's a match, well and good. And later after that, we exchanged uh, like the WhatsApp numbers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah, that's all. So after you decided it's a match, yeah. What happened next? So when we decided it's a match for from both parties, me as the au pair and them as the family. So they're supposed to send like copies for you to start with your visa process. So the family has to send you a contract, an invitation letter and insurance. You have to be insured. Yeah. So after they sent you the documents, you went with the documents to the embassy. Yeah. 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 And you applied for the visa. Yeah. How long did the process take? Uh, so after receiving all the, uh, all the documents and uh, the certificates, uh i the process took around two weeks yeah i actually got my response after two weeks hmm, that was yeah. fast yeah. And during our time we used to wait for months more than three months and i know people who waited even for one year so to you, get their response yeah, oh my so god you're very lucky uh -huh, uh -huh. so after you got your visa mm -hmm. it was then time to travel right yeah did the family pay your ticket uh, your flight ticket or did you pay it yourself i actually paid for the flight ticket by my own uh -huh. 
But if you get a good family, it depends on the communications you have with the family. Some are willing to pay, but for me, I didn't go to that extreme. So I just paid for my own flight. But ticket. they are not just paying for you, they are going to cut it from uh, your from your salary depending on the agreement so can you imagine them cutting, cutting them? That your... means half of the year you won't get anything yeah okay Lydia now you're here yeah so far you've been here for a few months now yeah I've been here would for you like, like to share with us maybe your experience as an au pair for those few months that you've been here yeah so I arrived yeah we connected with the family and got the chance to 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 meet the kids. I I was thinking I was actually taking care of two kids, a How girl, old? yeah, a girl and a boy. The boy was five years, so mm -hmm. sweet all, oh. and the uh, uh wait, the boy was five years and the girl was two years. Mm -hmm. So we connected, and uh, what I'll say, we hadn't communicated so well with the family. I had to drive a car. Mm -hmm. And I have my driving license back at home in Kenya, mm -hmm. which we drive basically on the left, and here we drive on the right. So that was actually a major problem for me. So I tried uh, for the first week, but it didn't work out. Mm -hmm. So the so family, yeah. you, after coming to Germany, you had to drive the kids to school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it was for me it didn't work out, and the family saw that it's not working out. Mm -hmm. So after some few weeks, we started having like uh, conflicts, yeah? Mm -hmm. They're telling me, no, you are to come here, drive the kids to school, and you're not doing that, so you'll do every type of work we'll tell you to do. Like extra jobs. Extra jobs which are not part of my job criteria. Yeah. So I didn't find that so pleasing for me. So mm -hmm. I opted, no, I can't do this anymore. Mm -hmm. Let me just look for somewhere else, like another family where we can blend and no conflicts at all. Mm -hmm. So... I went back to the site. So you decided to look for another the family, family on your own? On my own, yeah. Ah, okay. So I the family was there, I just told them, no, the family I'm with currently now, we're not getting on so well because of driving, I just need a family that doesn't need me to drive the kids to school. Ah, so on the yeah. website you stated why you want to change the family? Yeah. yeah ah, okay. Yeah. And you have to give, like, the, the current family you're with, you, you have to give them, like, a notice. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to stay with it anymore. So uh, you have to actually terminate the contract in mm -hmm. a duration of 14 days, which mm -hmm. is, like, two weeks. Okay. So I had 14, 14 days mm -hmm. to look for another family. Mm -hmm. So that, that's how it went. How was the reaction of the family after you told them that you wanted to look for another family? Wow, it was weird. <laughs> I'll say it was weird. No, when you walk in the dining hall and, no, not the dining hall, <laughs> in the dining table and they're not talking to you, they're just like giving that the look. Like, yeah, yeah. it was, it was quite. Those 14 yeah. days were hard. They, they were quite hard. I would wait for my hours to end. As soon as my hours are finished, I go back to my room and lock myself. So was it hard for you to look for another family? I wouldn't say it's hard. It's not quite hard. As long as you stay to, uh, the other option of changing family, you have the decision, I want this place. You can actually cancel by yourself. No, I don't want this family. If you want to go to a big city, you have like multiple options for yourself. So coming from Kenya is the hardest That's part. That's the hardest part. But when, when you're, you're here, here in Germany, the opportunity of getting op host families is... Yeah, just sweep left. No, I don't want. No, I don't want. Until you get what you want. So now you're, you're with your new family. Now I'm currently living with What me. happened to your visa? Because the visa you came with mm. was with the first family. What happens to the visa when you change your family? Uh, it's not quite a, a hard process. What you do, you go to the Auslander. Uh, yeah, because there's office. yeah, you go to the immigration because you have the contract of termination with mm -hmm. the other family. You take the contract of termination and tell them I cancelled my contract with this mm -hmm. family, and then they'll ask for like certain documents from your current family. So you take them to the office and everything is sorted out. Ah, okay. Yeah. yeah. And are you happy with your current family? Wow, I can't complain about it. I can't. I can't actually complain about it. So it's treating you well, and you're happy. Yeah, I'm so happy. It's actually one of the best decisions I made. So you say the visa is au pair visa, yeah, and au pair goes for one year. Can yeah. you extend the visa? Like, can you after one year? Can you extend? 
Yeah, according to what I researched, because I didn't know much about au pairs, mm -hmm. what I know, you can actually extend your pair visa, but not in Deutschland. Ah, you can go to it's another It's broad country. in Europe, you can actually extend it in Europe, but not in the same land you're in, like Deutschland. Yeah? Like most people who are au pairing in Germany, after one year they go to Austria, Austria yeah, Denmark, Netherlands. Denmark, Netherlands, you have the chance to move around Schengen yeah. with au pair yeah and do you get like paid for your au pair services yeah i'm not actually paid i get like monthly allowances that's what i get I like get, uh, pocket money yeah pocket money ah okay and do they pay for your german course yes they pay for my german course and they pay for my bus ticket to the german course that's okay that's fair enough what other benefits do you have like as an au pair here mm -hmm. in germany I wouldn't say like au pair is not quite a hard thing because you have to work like six hours a day. Mm -hmm. Six hours a day is not too much and you have like the rest of the day, it's your free time. You get the chance to explore. And learn about the German culture. Yeah, living in a house without paying for rent. Ah, okay. yeah. uh, do you have to have your own room by the way or do you share with the kids? No, I'm, I have, uh, for my, uh, with my current family and we, I have everything to myself. Ah. My room, yeah, everything. Okay, last but not the least, why would you come to Germany to become a maid? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no, because okay. by the way guys, we didn't, if you are watching up to this far and you still don't even understand what au pair is. Au, yeah. au pair is like, a, it's a culture exchange okay. where you come to Germany live with a host family yeah. and the host family has kids so you're going to be helping this host family to take care of the kids yeah. and then they're going to like help you with the cost of the german language and mm -hmm. help you when it comes to exploring learning the german culture learning the german streets and everything else yeah, yeah. but in our language it's like coming to germany to become oh, a maid good. Why would you do that? Wow, why would I do that? Uh, actually, it's one of the best opportunity for you to experience something outside your like outside your country mm -hmm. at a cheaper cost. Yeah, yeah. When you look at the pocket money, you don't like use your pocket money because you live in an unpaid house. They give you the food, so with your pocket money, you get the chance to explore mm -hmm. and also learn learn the language where it's fully paid by the host family. And because I also came to Germany as a maid, it's actually a, it's like a gate pass. Yeah. It's a path to exploring in future, to looking for greener passes yeah. because you don't have to stop there. Yeah. You can decide either to go back home or yeah. to take another direction, to go to England, go to anywhere else. <laughs> If you have any other question, like I mentioned earlier, don't mm -hmm. forget to ask on the comment section below. She is going to answer all your questions. And if you want to come through an agent, it's also going to be down there. We have, we are going to recommend the agent who is in charge of the school where yeah. she went to. So that was it, guys. Thank you so much. Thank Lydia, you for hosting me. For coming Thank to you. our channel. Thank you. <sighs> Oh my god! <laughs> okay, thank you so much, guys, for watching. Don't bye forget bye. to subscribe, Lydia. Tell your friends to subscribe. Bye, and my friends back at home, my please don't friend. forget to subscribe. Bye bye.